Well, this is a kill detection, and uh, I'm going to show y'all what I do to make my fat shark batteries, because uh, my fat shark batteries right now are making my rapid fire module show low power condition. So uh, what we did is we got this little kit from Amazon that came with these 18650 battery holders here, and uh, and this, this is individual. I just glued a couple of them together, and then I, I got one of these uh, up converters. Um, because I figured, because my, my fat shark batteries, when they're fully charged, my rapid fire wouldn't go into low power condition. So I figured I'd use that buck converter there to, to keep it, uh, on a, on a higher end of the deal. So, uh, figure we'll go ahead and use this buck converter. Let me go ahead and, and tin it and we'll try to make this work a little bit better. And we're going to make a, a 2S battery, uh, and, 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 and pull this together. So. First thing we're going to do is go ahead and tin up this uh, converter. And what this is going to do is this is going to take our 7.4 volt and I'm going to set it to 9 volt, which is what the uh, fat sharks will go ahead and take on a normal day. Um, then we're going to go ahead and cut this so we can make a, 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 a 2S or a battery in series. So this is a longer line here, so I'm just going to kind of clear this, uh, this stuff off and I'm going, I'm going to go ahead and just put the negative right in there so this actually puts these batteries in series and uh, and we can still actually remove and and edit the you know remove and replace these batteries at will and uh, but uh, we'll go ahead and pull this insulation off and then we can go ahead and and get this uh, negative battery lead kind of wired in here and make it nice and purdy so we'll go ahead and strip off the uh, the rest of this uh, insulation off of this battery lead here and we just kind of take it and we'll just kind of wind it around there you know try to make it nice and sturdy and then when we get it nice and sturdy we'll just go in here and we'll hit it with just a, a little bit of solder to kind of stiffen it up make sure that she she stays together you know like a like a good solid marriage but uh, then we'll just go ahead and we'll take this little piece of electrical tape and we'll put it over the top of this and there's really no electrical stuff behind it so we can just go ahead and kind of taper down and uh, and just kind of get her into the groove there to 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 kind of keep it from from moving around too much so we'll put another piece of tape right up top here to make sure that that wire doesn't wiggle around try to keep it from from wiggling and breaking and all that good stuff so just put that another piece of tape right there and then we're going to go ahead and take these wires and we're going to add the 2s uh, balance lead in here so we can balance charge these batteries so then we we'll go ahead and just take that off and I, I just use my fingernail sometimes to to strip these wires then we'll go ahead and we'll run uh, these over to that up converter again to take our 7.4 volt and put it up to 9 volt so that uh, hopefully we can beat that low power condition on the rapid fire module but uh, uh, right here we see this up converter is just about the size of these uh, two these two holders together but we'll take that negative line and we'll run it to the input side of that up converter and of course the positive side we'll take and put it to the positive side so black to negative and the positive to uh, to positive and we'll get these soldered up here and we'll go ahead and tin them uh, and we'll get some good heat in that solder down here real quick but and we'll go ahead and tin these wires tin them up and now they're all tinned up we can go ahead and put that converter on top and try to get those wires soldered down and this one's kind of a pain sometimes so they, there we go there we go and we'll get the positive side. This one's being a little bit more ornery. Come on. Come on. There we go. Now that's all connected. Now we can take this 2S battery lead right here and we can actually put this on so we can balance charge these uh, batteries. So first thing we're going to do is make sure we are good and get these all cleaned up and get them... Uh, tin so that we've got uh, good wires to work with um, We can see here that that up converter is not exactly the friendliest thing, but we'll get these ten and uh, Try to get this all situated down now. We'll take the black wire and of course put it to the negative and That's going to be the easy part. So the black wire goes to negative 
and we'll we'll try to get this in here and then the the far right positive the red wire goes to the positive side so let's get the positive and the negative overalls uh, actually uh, soldered in there so now let's see if we can get this being a little tough all right there. I think we got it anyway now now what we need to do let's take a little chunk off the end there um, now what we need to do is we need to take this other section now let's get some uh, heat shrink tubing on this probably and uh, then we're going to take that middle wire and then run it across to the other side so that uh, so that it'll work and uh, let's go ahead and let's bind this butt converter down here because it just make it easier to work with if I don't have to fight it the whole bloody time and and, and get her get her situated and first things first we want to also make sure that we cover up those uh, those battery connectors so that that buck converter doesn't short out on those battery connectors so that's why we put that little piece of electrical tape underneath there to make sure we're good and isolated and then we'll come in here and do that that last little deal so let me get some heat shrink on that we got some heat shrink now let's see if we can get this connected without me cursing up a storm here maybe possibly let's try her come on make it easy and no whammies Eh, that, that, oh, that is not pretty. Oh well, it's all right. It works. So, let's go ahead and stick some heat to it. And uh, now we'll probably need to go ahead and just tape this whole bloody thing down so hard that it ain't gonna move at all. So, we'll go ahead and wrap this up a couple of times and make sure that it's nice and secure. This will keep that buck converter down. Um, We'll make sure everything's nice and, and solid, and uh, we'll make it so that it doesn't come apart right up there in that goggle strap, and then, you know, shock the heck out of your temple and turn you into goo. And then we'll take this connector, this, uh, this little barrel connector, and uh, make sure we get the, the polarity correct. The, remember, the center pin is the uh, positive, so we'll, we'll need to make sure that that center pin... Uh, gets soldered correctly as a, as a positive and uh, so we'll get this all soldered up here let me get these two wires tinned and then we can get them connected in there to that pin and I always again I always used like to use a flux on it because it just makes it a better connection and uh, makes the uh, the solder joint actually not as well helps prevent cold solder joints a little so my little trick here, I just made a little hoop, uh, made a little hoop or a little hook. Just kind of pulled that back in there, and then that made it so that it would at least stick. And then just drop that little dab of solder on her, and she stuck pretty good. Now I didn't think about it, but I thought, well, crap, this is going to be even harder now to get this other wire in here because you know now I got this thing running down the center. But I tried the same thing, tried the little hook, and we we'll just go that route, and hopefully. It uh, leaves me enough room to actually work with it. I mean, and then, yeah, yeah, to tin it first, and then we'll see if we can get her to stick. And this one, it, it, it was a little bit difficult to, to get her to stick, but I don't know why. For some reason, it's always my negative battery leads that, that are the tough ones to get to stick, but... This one worked out all right, and then we just put that barrel connector right back down on top of her. And then screw her down. And uh, that at least makes it to where, you know, as long as as long as long we're not pulling on those wires, we should be able to keep that from, from getting too strained. But I like to put a little heat shrink on the back of this. Uh, and that way, it puts a little strain relief on, on those wires so that you're not tempted. So that if you do happen to grab that, if you do happen to grab the back of that shrink wrap, uh, it does uh, does take a little bit of the stress off of it. So I'm going to go ahead and heat that down, and we're going to use a little my little two-step method here. So we put heat shrink around the two wires themselves to thicken them up just a bit, but that size heat shrink won't fit. So I'll just take it now, and uh, I'll grab another, and I'll kind of do a little step down. So take a little step down we'll cut this out and put this around the back of that barrel connector and doing that 
uh, if we can get it around the back of that barrel connector and uh, not quite so let me stretch it out just a little bit use some pliers so stretch it out just a skosh and uh, now let's get it back around the back of that barrel connector see and we got it in there and but this won't shrink all the way down so shrinks pretty close and uh, but not quite so now we got another step that we can actually step it down again and I'll just take this last little piece of heat shrink and I'll step it down that one last time to kind of join those two layers of heat shrink together and that way hopefully keep strain relief on uh, well keep the strain off of those wires and uh, hopefully keep them from busting because uh, because that just wouldn't be good and then you got all those layers of heat shrink to go back through to resolder so we're gonna go ahead and test them and uh, let's take this and we got those two batteries in there and we've got oh well, look at there it's coming up as a 2s battery and it is uh well those two batteries are not very balanced at all so we'll take this buck converter now and it was set at 16 volts so essentially i had two 1s batteries in there and it was making 16 volts because of the butt converter so we turned it down to nine volts that's what we wanted to do is turn it down to nine and so now that barrel connector will go ahead and get it connected and essentially wherever those batteries are they will continue to pump out nine volts and hopefully again this is it's my goal that this will keep the low power condition from occurring in my rapid fire module because again the other batteries as long as they were fully charged would keep the low power condition away for about a minute and then after a minute it would go to low power condition so we'll go ahead and we'll put this connector this barrel connector on and uh, solder up this other side and i will tell you right now spoiler alert it worked as long as i can usually run full power condition on that rapid fire module now for almost it's right at about an hour and then i need to make sure i change the batteries because that's when my dvr quits working it's like it pulls too much amperage or something and then it just it, the all things start kind of going sideways but uh we'll go ahead and kind of stick these together and i'll show you here in just a sec i'll show you that the uh, low power condition is turned off when this thing is plugged into the side of my inside of my fat sharks it works like a champ so uh like I said, and it, I can run this usually for about an hour, an, an hour straight of flying, and uh, and I don't get a low power condition on that fat shark module. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and we'll plug her in over here, and it's getting nine volts direct, and it does not go down. So take a look, and right there, low power condition says no, outstanding, works like a champ. Have fun. Keep her in the air.